Hi, I'm Ana Maria Magalhães. I'm a graduate student at Unicamp, and I will talk about my work title, Simulation of Biodiesel Mixtures Formulation Using Artificial Neural Networks. The relevance of these studies highlighted for two major reasons. The first, first refers to biodiesel quality. The biodiesel may undergo crystallization, a phenomenon, phenomenon that, that is the biggest limiting factor for the biodiesel use at low temperatures. Formulation of biodiesel mixtures derived from, from different fats and oils can improve such a crystallization properties. The second refers to the simulation models. Currently, the models of simulation biodiesel mixtures formulation are, are by, based in solid liquid equilibrium theory, but is present several limitations. In fact, there are very high deviation from the ideal behavior. Thus, artificial neural networks is a good alternative for the for the simulation um, for the simulation models and solve limitation for the for of the traditional traditional models. Um, in this study, the data set to train the artificial neural networks was obtained from the solid fraction curves of the mixtures at different compositions were composed, composed of 11 different ethyl biases. The data set consisted of a set of 11,194 samples. The output of the model is the fraction of solids in this mixture. Given composition of biodiesel mixtures and temperature, such as input. The MATLAB was used to train a multi layer perception with a living bag Marquardt algorithm. The artificial neural networks was training with 75% of the database and validation with the 25% of the database. The performance was measured with the determination coefficient. The best architecture tested was two layer and ten percent on eight layers. That shows the result with the determination of coefficient of 0 0.99. Then the proposed artificial neural network had an excellent performance in predicting the salt content of biodiesel grains, allowing its use with confidence and formulation of mixtures with low salt content then can be used at low temperatures. Thank you for your attention.